Are you a chocolate lover and want something that is quick, easy, tasty, and nutritious and healthy? Then stay tuned on today's video. Hello, my name is Dr. Brandon Petrie with Lone Star Progressive Medicine. And on today's video, what I'm going to show you is a quick and easy uh, protein shake that you can make at home. It is very healthy, very nutritious, and you're going to love the taste. It is kid approved in our household. Um, so there's a couple different proteins, uh, all different types of proteins that are out there, and I regularly get questions um, on it. So I want to show you exactly what we do, uh, a use in our house and b how we make it in our household. Um, so we don't use a soy-based protein. Uh, we don't use a whey-based protein. You can look at other videos of why um, I choose to use this particular um, type of protein. But this particular type of protein is called bone broth uh, pro protein. Granted, yes, it has a it has a weird name, and you can learn about why that name uh, it, it, it's called that on another video uh, on our YouTube page. But anyway, let's just jump into it. This is the uh, company; it's called Ancient Nutrition Bone Broth of Nutrition. They were the first ones to come out uh, with a product like this, um, where you had a dehydrated uh, protein that was really healthy. It also has a lot of type. To collagen in it, um, which is very good for hair, nails, and I'd say more importantly, um, healing the inner gut lining. Uh, we don't get near as much of the collagen in our standard American diet as we should, and this will really help uh, with gut health as well. So um, you can, of course, make it with just water and the bone broth protein, um, but we'd like to uh, take it up to another level, if you will, in our house. And so there's a couple other ingredients you might want to add in. Uh, one is Kerrygold butter. If you're not familiar with the benefits of Kerrygold butter, it is a grass-fed butter. Um, any type of organic butter is grass-fed, but Kerrygold is not, quote, organic. Um, but it is all uh, made from grass-fed cows, which have higher amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for your brain and every single cell in your body. And the other thing you might want to add, which I'm going to get to here in a second, is peppermint essential oils. Uh, again, I'll link this in the bottom if you want to um, get some and get it from whoever. It doesn't matter to me. But anyway, that takes it to another level. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make the bone broth uh, protein shake, how uh, we make it in our house and how my kids... Uh, love it. In fact, let me tell you a quick story real quick before I make it. Um, the very first time I made this, I told my son, I asked him if he wanted to um, have it, and uh, so I made it for him. He's like, this is the best um, ch hot chocolate ever. So it is pretty darn um, good. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things I do is I always make a double batch, and so we always um, add the water um, first, which I already have heated and warmed up. So I have 24 ounces. Um, the, the instructions call for one scoop per 12 ounces of water. So I'm just going to use uh, double the amount. So we'll pour the water in here. So I got that. And uh, if you are going to make it with the, uh, with the butter, what I do is I utilize um, two tablespoons of butter per one scoop. So we're going to cut off about four tablespoons worth. And what I go ahead and do is I actually add that to the water. This makes it a little bit easier. I blend that up ahead of time. So I'm going to do exactly that. It doesn't take very long. This is a Vitamix. You can use any blender. We're going to turn that on and then blend that up. Okay. And then what I do um, is I add the, uh, the, the protein powder. So we're going to do that. And actually, it seems to work a little bit better if you have a blender like the uh, Vitamix, have it all the way down, just turn it on so it's just lightly going. And then I add in the scoops um, that way so it mixes in. So there's one. And then two. There we go, so we can mix that in. Put the top on, and then we'll blend it up a little bit more. Doesn't take long. I still keep it going. Sorry, I'm doing this all from behind. And then, so here's the peppermint oil. You don't need very much, but what this does is, so the, the butter, the reason why I add the butter is it makes it really creamy and frothy. Um, so the, by the, just the water and the protein by itself is really good. It's sweetened with stevia, so you don't have to add any sweetener or anything to it, which also stevia doesn't uh, uh, bring up your insulin levels. But then what I do is to really make it taste like, literally like a York peppermint patty, is add just a few drops. So you're gonna add three, drops of the uh, peppermint essential oils um, and that's enough to give it that peppermint flavor because those things are pretty powerful and then we just uh, mix it up just a little bit more like that stir it in and voila you're done you can pour it you have yourself a nice healthy nutritious and scrumptious uh, protein shake that is uh, very tasty as well so 
Hopefully you enjoy, uh, enjoy this. Hopefully this was uh, useful to you. Uh, if you want any more uh, videos uh, like this that are helpful for you to not only stay healthy but also get out of pain, you can subscribe to our channel. Make any comments or questions below and we'll answer those. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.